So there's a number of use cases for this specific software. As you can see, we have the competitor lookup, the product research, the market research, the keyword research, the ABA search database, the global brand database, the storefront tracker, and obviously any products that you've added to your list or to your store, you can run data on those. You can search multitude of different marketplaces from the US all the way to India, as you can see here. You can also set the specific category on all of these, not just in market research. You can also do it on competitor lookup, as you can see here. And one of the coolest things as well is you can pick the specific time frame in which you want to search, right? So do you want to search the past 30 days? Do you want more comprehensive data over a longer period of time? So you can get kind of a baseline of where the sales have been and how consistently they've been. It's all there for you. But for this specific example, I'm going to show you how you can use it to reverse engineer your top competitors and find profitable listings that you might not have found otherwise. So as an example, we know that there's many third-party brands that are owned by specific websites and specific companies, right? An example of that would be Cobalt for Lowe's, right? Lowe's owns the brand Cobalt and it's only sold on Lowe's. Another example that everybody always uses is Mainstays, right? Because Walmart owns Mainstays and again, Mainstays is only sold on walmart.com by Walmart. And so these are two examples of how you can utilize this for retail drop shipping on Amazon. So for example, if we were on Amazon and we went to mainstays and just searched the keyword mainstays for that brand, well, we know that if we can find something specifically like this as an example, mainstays side storage desk, and it's not prime, meaning it's not an FBA, it's seller fulfilled, there's a high likelihood that it's one of two things. First and foremost, which it most likely is, is a drop shipping listing from somebody drop shipping this product from Walmart because it's only sold on Walmart. Or secondly, which is a lot less frequent, is somebody reselling this in a used or used like new condition. But that's not as common. So for example, we know that if we click on this listing right here, this is gonna be a drop shipper selling this. So right here, whatever this person's store name is, we know that they're obviously drop shipping this product. So what we could do from this angle, right, is if we clicked on this specific store, what I used to teach people to do is visit their storefront and see all the top products they're selling, and then slowly, manually go back through all their products to find profitable products yourself right? Because obviously in this example, don't list mainstays, don't drop ship on Amazon from Walmart. That's a big no-no. I'm just giving this to you as an example. But if you went through all their listings right here, chances are if they're drop shipping one, then they're drop shipping a number of them, if not all of them. And so we can take their best selling products if we went through and manually search through all their products and reverse engineer their top sellers, right? So if we scroll down though, I used to tell people to manually do this, but let's say they have dozens or hundreds of products, that's gonna take you a long time. And so I used to tell people to pay VA to do this if you were doing it manually, but you don't need to do that anymore because you can reverse engineer with seller sprites. So if we just come back up and go back to their specific store name and we take their store name in there, go back to seller sprite, go to the competitor lookup, right? And then you'll see you can search for keyword, you can search for the brand name, right? So if you wanted to search mainstays there, or let's say specifically what you had here as well was like a wholesale brand or maybe an obscure retail brand. So let's say it was a wholesale brand, you'd type the wholesale brand in here, search it, and you'd be able to find everybody else on Amazon also selling that brand, which is a game changer, especially for wholesale drop shipping. Now for this example, we're talking about retail, right? So if we just paste in that seller's name, which is a little strange, it's a long jumbulation of, of letters. I don't even know what that is. Well, let's paste that in there and run a search on it. And you can now see all their products. And why is this important? Because then we can then search through and sort it so that we're only going after and checking their top selling products so we can check those. It's gonna save us a lot of time, it's gonna help us find a lot more profitable listings a lot faster and make more money again, a lot faster. So as you can see here, if we just sort through, there's really no reason to actually sort through on this one because this person's only sold two different things in the last 30 days and it was this one and it was this one. So you could look through this. I actually used to sell something similar to this on Facebook Marketplace all the time. So I do know that this actually specific one sells. It might even be from Walmart or Amazon, I don't remember. But as another example, right? Let's go back and find one more seller, find another mainstays thing here on Amazon and again, just to reiterate, do not drop ship mainstays. Do not drop ship from Walmart or from Lowe's or anything like that. Do not drop ship from big brand retail suppliers that Amazon competes with that is inevitably gonna get you suspended. This is just an example. Again, mainstays motion sensor trash can. There's a high likelihood that this is again drop shipped. Look, it's not FBA. So we know that this person right here, Benjamin US, as well as 
most likely all five of these other sellers are drop shipping this product on Amazon. So we just found a treasure trove of people that are drop shipping. And what we could do is we can search their stores as you come down here. We don't have to manually do it anymore because we can just take his store name, which is Benjamin US in this example. And again, search to see if he has any hot selling products that are doing well. Looks like he's also selling that trash can. That's his best selling product. He sold a few other things in the past 30 days, but really it's just the trash can. So what you'd want to do then is maybe try to find this on a different supplier. Or if you're doing online arbitrage, for example, you can go out and try to find this and source this knowing that it's already selling. We could also go back and search all these other sellers. So Gadget Emporium, paste him in there. Doesn't look like he sold anything in the past 30 days. Let's take one more just to show you as an example. Let's go to this. And all these products right here are examples of ones that I was going to show you because they're from obscure retail suppliers that I actually used to drop ship from, right? So this is an example of a listing that I used to drop ship. You can find this specific product, not always because it is more expensive and it only comes in and out of stock from time to time, not as frequently, but you can find this specific product on Musician's Friend. And I think I made like $150 profit drop shipping this specific specific high ticket product about once a month for a long, long time. I was going to make a video on it showcasing like how I actually went about sourcing this product, but I never got around to it. If you want to see it, let me know. But so for example, let's say you were using a software like Source Mogul or a software like Seller Spray, and you found this specific product and then you kind of hit a dead end, right? You have one good product. What you could then do is go to all the sellers that are also on this listing, knowing that they also found this product. So their intent is also to most likely drop ship with a lot of their listings, reverse engineer all these stores best selling listings by simply pasting their store name into Seller Spray, running a reverse search on their best selling products, and then you can reverse engineer their best-selling products and the suppliers of those best-selling products by simply running a search campaign on Google, a reverse image search on Google, and essentially finding the supplier of these products so that you can also list them as well. So let's do a few just to show you an example from this listing, because again, this is a better, uh, more obscure retail supplier that I would recommend that you drop ship from. So Pro Audio Star, they're probably going to have a bunch of musical equipment. So in the last 30 days, this is their best-selling products, and they've also sold this as well and a few other things. They actually have a decent amount here. And this is why the music niche is such a gold mine because the margins are high and there's a lot of obscure suppliers for music supplies like this, not just musicians friend. So there's a, again, a lot of these are under five a month, but those are still profitable. So I would take anything above that, like these top 10, this one sold 11 times, 17 times, 18 times, all the way up to this one that's like 154, 257, 804, 997. And then literally search these all and reverse engineer these specific products. If you just click on it, you can take the picture, do a reverse image search on Google. You obviously, obviously see the brand name there. It's Crybaby or Bose, might be Bose. And now you can basically take this ASIN, search the specific product title on Google and try to find the supplier. It might even be on Musician's Friend, which you might not have found in your initial search. And then you can list this as well. You can also see the BSR, how much it's grown in BSR recently, what the sales trend is, the revenue over the past 30 days, and a number of other more important purchasing decisions. All the data is right here. Now, this is a game changer again for retail drop shipping, but I want to hit home. Do not drop ship from suppliers that are big box like Walmart or Lowe's. Those were just examples. If you do find suppliers, and I've covered this in several other videos that are obscure enough that you can drop ship from retail suppliers on Amazon, then by all means, use this method to reverse snipe your top competitors that are on those same listings you are, and also take their other best selling products as well. This is one of the best ways that you can do it. But not only that, this has been a game changer for wholesale suppliers. One in the same way, because if you find a wholesale product, right, everybody on that listing is also going to be a wholesale drop shipper most of the time. And so again, you can also take their wholesale products and chances are they're going to be from a number of wholesale suppliers, not just that one. And now you have a treasure trove of top selling wholesale products from a number of other suppliers. And once you reverse engineer their top selling wholesale products, it just becomes up to you to go out and apply to that wholesale supplier, figure out if that product's on there still and it's in stock and then list it yourself. And now you have a hot seller as well that's profitable. And it's really just rinse and repeat with a number of sellers doing that. That's the first way with wholesale suppliers. Again, the second way is to just search the brand. So for example, if you found a wholesale supplier that was Roan Art, which is an example that I used to drop ship from, then you would just search that in there, Roan Art, and it would show up with all the people selling that specific brand on Amazon.